Hello, Dr. Vandana Hegde, Clinical Director, Hegde Fertility. So many couples who go for IVF, they are always, uh, you know, a little bit scared that uh, uh, once they go for the IVF process, will their egg and their sperm only be utilized in the lab? Or is there any possibility for an error uh, where there could be a mix up of the gametes in the lab? Yes, we definitely understand your fears. And uh, we also believe that uh, there should be, uh, you know, zero possibility of any kind of error in the embryology lab. Now, when it comes to IVF, most of the fertility centers, you know, they follow manual witnessing system where they, you know, visually they just check for the names of the couple and just ensure whether it is matched. Now, what are the problems with that? Yes, sometimes there could be a confusion with similar names among the couples. So that can lead to a gamete mix up. And also sometimes if the workload is very high and the, you know, the technicians in the lab are quite tired, it can lead to human errors. And sometimes it could be just pure negligence. But this is an unacceptable and uh, I think there are also few media, uh, media reports of which which makes couples very anxious when, need, when you need to go for the procedure. Uh, so please understand that uh, just because of uh, these reports or such fears in your mind, please don't hesitate to take your step for IVF because we understand that it is a medically indicated procedure and uh, usually the IVF success rate is when you take it at the right time. So such, with such fears, if you're postponing your IVF, it can you know impact in the long run uh, because it could would, you know reduce your success rates uh, in the future so i just would like to tell you that at least at hegde fertility center just this uh, important uh, you know factor and uh, what we do is the electronic witnessing system about which uh, i just want to tell you a little more in detail uh, now when it comes to ivf process there are multiple steps involved you know that is the reason that there could be errors at uh, you know at some point now if you look at the ivf process the first step could be the egg collection now usually when you start the ivf process at our center we allot uh, two cards to the couple so one in the name of the male partner one in the name of the female partner and we tag the two cards so this an RFID based tagging which is called radio frequency enabled identification. So both uh, the RFID uh, numbers what is there in the two cards are linked with each other. So these two cards are linked that means whenever these cards are read at any point in our you know embryology lab or the theater they have to always match with each other that means the sample that is tagged to this the sample that is tagged to things will always be linked. Now what is the advantage with that? Yes. Now in the egg collection procedure when the wife is stimulated and she comes for the egg pickup procedure when we do the egg pickup process in the operation theater we have got a card reader so when we put this female card into that card reader slot our entire workstation of our embryology lab is tacked to this card we also have a card reader in the embryology lab workstation where the similar you know card is again put back into the uh, slot that is available so post egg pickup when the follicular fluid comes into the workstation this card will identify the sample it belongs to. So the female partner's ID will get reflected in the monitor. Now when the male partner will be giving the semen sample in the andrology lab. So when the collection container is given for the semen collection, similarly this this is tagged into this uh, collection container. Now when his card reader is put on the card slot and this RFID based tag is read, they will be linked with each other. So again, wherever this container goes, this will this, this will identify that it belongs to the partner who is linked okay so once the sample is collected in this this sample will go into the andrology lab where the semen is getting processed now the semen gets processed in such tubes because it goes through centrifugation or to other techniques like microfluidics etc and this is also tagged with small tags these are also rfid based tags when these are put on these tubes it also gets linked to the card that is put in the card reader slot so every time the card reader is reading the ID of that card, the system, there's a monitor which will reflect the name and the hospital ID and all the details of that person. So once the semen is processed, this is sent into the embryology lab. Now once we receive the follicular fluid from the female partner, her follicular fluid is put into such dishes. Now these dishes again are tagged with the similar RFID card. So once the dish is tagged, and it is kept on the workstation with the female partner's you know card within the card slot this dish gets tagged to that card so now when this processed sperm comes into the workstation which is containing this female partner's egg the entire system is going to read whether this rfid on this is linked to this rfid on this dish so if they are matched then the further workflow will be allowed by our system so the entire workstation is electronically controlled. So you don't need any third person to come and check now. So this is very reassuring for the couple that the right sperm is reaching the right egg. Now what happens after that? So in the workstation, 
or in the ICSI manipulator, once we do the fertilization process, these fertilized uh, oocyte are kept in such dishes, which is again tagged. The same RFID is kept here. And once we leave the fertilized oocytes over here, we put it in the culture media. Now this is going to remain here for the next five to six days in our incubator. So in the incubator, the embryos are culturing. So whenever we want to check what we do, we just remove this culture dish from the incubator. We come to the workstation. The moment we place the in the workstation, the system is going to identify this dish belongs to this patient and we can check the embryos and leave it back over there. Now, come after the culture, the next process will be the embryo freezing. Now, what happens during freezing? Could there be a mix up during freezing? Now, this is also a doubt. Yes, once the embryos are all cultured and they're ready, we are going to be putting these embryos into small straws. So these are the straws where the embryos will be stored. So we'll be putting about one or two embryos per straw. So we'll be loading the embryos from the culture dish and putting them here. So now if you can see here, there is a bar coding in the straw. So these again are tagged to the same patient ID electronically. So all the details. So not only we do write over here the patient's name and the hospital ID, but there is a small barcoded tag and we have a barcoded, we have a scanner system. So this is just like how you go to a you know shopping mall and they scan your, you know, whether you're buying uh, anything about uh, retail, you know, whether you go to a grocery shop or your clothing store, how they check your barcode scanner. Similar barcode scanner we have, which will read the ID over here. So first we tag it and then we put their embryos here. And this straw then goes into our liquid nitrogen tank. So once it is dropped there, it's going to be there. And the advantage is that none of any of these could get erased over time, but this is a permanent. So even if you come after three years, five years, 10 years, the ID is going to be foolproof. So now suppose tomorrow you're going to come back for an embryo transfer. What happens that time? So when you come back for a transfer, your wife's endometrium is prepared and she's ready for transfer. That day she comes back with her card. So this card is coming back. So on the embryo transfer day, when she sleeps on the ET bed in the operation theater, there's a card reader and this is going to go into that slot. The moment she, that slot is, uh, you know, fixed with this card, the workstation is now reading her details in the workstation. Now we remove this straw. So we check her ID and we remove this straw from the liquid nitrogen tank. When we get this straw and we read it with a bar scanner in the workstation, this is going to read her ID. So the card reader's ID and the ID on this will be matched by our monitor. So if they are matched, it will show a green signal. If there is any kind of mismatch, there will be an alarm system along with a red signal coming in the monitor telling there is a mismatch so that we can go back, retrace our steps and see where we went wrong and probably give us an opportunity to even rectify this error at the same time so that we can, you know, uh, try to avoid some unforeseen circumstances, you know, which could be very devastating for the couple. So this kind of a system will allow, you know, us to select the right embryo and go put it into the right uterus. So I can assure you that the kind of system that we follow here is something, you know, it's almost foolproof and there is no possibility of any error. And uh, at Hegde Fertility and the clinical director at Hegde Fertility, I want to reassure all the couples, you know, who are, you know, uh, planning an IVF treatment and uh, they are kind of having uh, uh, such doubts in their mind that uh, this is something that uh, you need not worry at all and be fearless and uh, go through your IVF procedure with full confidence and uh, we are always there for you and uh, the system is being provided uh, to you at completely free of cost you know this is not charged uh, separately other than your IVF process per se so we do not charge you for these cards we do not charge you for all the tags that we use in the lab which could be multiple because going by the you know number of procedures that we do in the lab there's a lot of uh, uh, tags that we are using but uh, this is something uh, that is very very important for any couple so we do not want to you know separate patients from who is affordable who is not affordable i think this is the right of every couple to have their embryos in their uterus and uh, i don't think that we should you know uh, make any kind of differentiation uh, by bringing any financial uh, burden to couples uh, for this this is the responsibility of the clinic uh, that we take it on us to give it to you as a gift to you so it's something that uh, is from our side to you and I think you can be rest assured when you walk into Hegde Fertility that uh, we stand with you and our commitment to avoid any kind of genetic mix-up in our lab. Thank you so much.